It says, Assalamu alaikum. Do you have any, do you want to read it? No, I can read it. Do you have any advice? So, wa alaykum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Do you have any advice or what can you say about Yaqeen Institute run by Umar Suleiman? <laughs> oh, I like the UK. I am from America. MashaAllah. The people of Makkah, they know their people better, right? MashaAllah. So if someone from here says something, it might be... Uh, no, I do not advise anybody to go to Yaqeen Institute, nor do I advise anybody to follow their writings or read their writings or watch their videos. Um, we have seen many uh, shubuhat come from their website, including attempts to justify evolution and other watering down of Islam. We have seen ambiguous answers to clear questions like the LGBTQ XYZ infinity sign uh, issues that have come up. We have seen many principles of the Sharia that were violated uh, for political gains like locking arms with lesbian princesses or, or uh, priestesses. Um, I guess you got princess <laughs> um, and so on. So I do not advise uh, anybody to uh, go to or benefit from or harm from, I don't know, uh, from Yaqeen Institute. Can I just ask something, my beloved brothers and sisters, right? Just the other day I was reflecting on the statement of Ibn al-Qayyim rahmatullahi alayhi when he said, Al-Rif'atu la takunu bi mujarrad al-ilm, bal bi tiba'i al-haqi wal-amal bihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevating you won't just be for having knowledge. Rather, he says, by following the truth and acting upon it. You might have a lot of knowledge, right? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't elevate that individual. And Shaykh, if you don't mind me saying this, right? One thing that I really admire about him, even though he's from America, and in America, it's very different to the UK. We're very conservative here. We are really, really blessed to have a lot of Muslims in just about every city that you go to. In America, it's a very different ball game. Some may feel the need to water down some of the Islamic values and morals simply because they are a minority within, within, within a minority. However, when we look at the da'wah of the Shaykh, right, he held on to his morals, his values, right, his principles, and that which is correct. Never felt the need to dilute or to play down some of the Islamic values pertaining to what the scripture says. As long as we quote the scripture, we're fine, right? What the scripture says about uh, the LGBTQ and things like that, right? Never felt the need. And still people are listening to him. In, in fact, more people are listening to him than maybe others who felt the need to water it down. So let your main concern be, I'm going to follow the truth. And that which is correct. Uh, 